Let's discuss this question next. 99 power 5 has to be found using binomial theorem. Now, how do we go about doing that? We'll have to write 99 as 100 minus 1 power 5. Okay. And this will have an alternate plus minus sign. Yes, alternate plus minus sign will be there. The second term in that binomial is minus 1. Or you can say, if you are using alternate plus minus sign, you can take 1 as well, right? So, this is 5C0 times 100 power 5. Minus 5c1 times 100 power 4 plus alternate plus minus 1. Yeah, this would be minus 1 power 1, which is simply minus, right? Then you have 5c2 times 100 power 3. Minus 1 square will be plus 1, right? This is next term will be minus actually. So what you get is this. This becomes 5c3 100 power 2 plus alternate plus minus, right? Next term will be 5c4 times 100 power 1 and 5c5 times this right that's what you get is there anything else no next what is 100 power 5 100 power 5 is actually uh, 1 followed by 10 zeros 5c0 is 1 only so this is 1 followed by 10 zeros those are 10 zeros right let's separate them out by commas and this is what you have, right? This is what you have. What next? This is 5C1. 5C1 is 5 followed by 100 power 4, which is 8 zeros. 5 followed by 8 zeros. Okay, let's separate them out by commas. This is what you have. 5C2. 5C2 is 10. 10 into 100 power 3, which is 6 zeros. 10 into 6 zeros. So 10 will be followed by 6 zeros. 10 will be followed by 3 plus 3, 6 zeros, right? This is what you get. What next? You have 5C3 times 100 square, which is minus 5C3 is again 10 followed by 100 square, which is 4 zeros. Let's separate by comma. 5C4 is 5 followed by 2 zeros. Minus 5C5 is 1. This is what you have. Now, what next? How do we go about solving this further? So for that, we can focus on, first of all, adding all the terms having plus sign. Subtracting all the terms having minus sign, grouping them together. And uh, then we can make one further calculation. Another idea could be to subtract these two, first of all. Subtract these two, first of all, these two, first of all. And you'll get three terms in plus. You can add those terms very easily. Let's use this idea over here. What do we have? Here you have three zeros, three zeros and then a 500, three zeros, three zeros, then a 500 over here. So you'll actually have these seven zeros will remain as it is. Okay, three, three, six, seven, eight zeros will remain as it is from the back. Zero, 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 zero. And from this hundred, you have to subtract a five. That's what you're supposed to do from this hundred. You have to subtract a five, that will be 95 actually. This becomes 95. This, this, and this. This becomes 95. Yes? Is that okay? Yes. What next? Let's subtract this from this. Okay? So this is 0, 0, 0. This okay. This is 100, which will be subtracted from this triple zero. Okay. So what you'll have is, in the at the end, there will be five zeros. We don't have to worry about the five zeros at the end. Five zeros at the end. Okay. And you have a 5,000 remaining. 5,000 remaining, okay, sorry, just a minute, this is not 5,000, we have focus on this one, right, you have 5 zeros at the end, 5 zeros at the end, you have 100 remaining, 100 minus 1, 100 minus 1 is 99 actually, this is what you have, right, this is what you'll have, is that okay, yes, what is 500 minus 1, 500 minus 1 is 499, take care of the calculations very carefully, what next, let's take a look at this one next, at the end, you have triple zero, triple zero, and four double nine. So add them together, and you will get four double nine at the end. What else? The next group has nine hundred and triple zero over here. You'll get a nine hundred on adding them together. After that, you have a nine, and you have a five hundred. Add them together, you will get five zero nine. And there's a nine remaining. So this is nine five zero nine, nine zero zero four double nine, and that is the answer for this question over here. As you can see behind me, the complete calculations are done over here.